guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is episode one of the panel build. We are going to be working on the 1956 one-ton panel. This is definitely good. We're gonna start tearing into this thing. We just got the motor back all done up, all complete from air filter to oil pan, distributor, wires, even the accessories. Everything is ready, ready to go. And then also we got a 700 R4 tranny. Just got back the tranny shop, freshly rebuilt, ready to go. And of course we got, you know, the converter and oil and everything ready to rock. So, Without further ado, let's start wrenching. You can see it flashing. Hi, I'm Paul. So as you can tell, we got the motor mounts hooked up. We got, yeah, I know they're kind of wonky looking, but these are the correct ones for a V8 engine setup for these old 50s trucks. We got the firewall cleaned up, ready to go. Frame all cleaned up. Here we got the transmission on the table. We had installed the torque converter. It's all loaded up, ready to go. A little bit of oil in it. So we're about to pull this motor off. Pair it with the transmission and let's get this turd in the truck. <music> say for the, the engine install? I just, I just want to say that everything ran smooth and uh, it's one giant step for mankind. All right, the motor is finally in, transmission is in, torque converter bolts buttoned up, front mounts. I mean, I am still a little iffy about these mounts. Look at these things. I mean, this, that's what it calls for for these cars. I'm just, you know, I'm used to having like solid motor mounts on race cars and stuff to see a little rod going up, connecting the motor to the frame. A little sketch to me, but that's what these call for. It's not a high horsepower torquing motor, so I don't think it'll be an issue. Motor trans, firewalls cleaned up. So we're gonna continue on in the next episode, put the exhaust headers, do some more wiring, uh, wire up the distributor, basically everything underneath the inch compartment we're gonna to wanna to button up first before we start throwing on 
radiator core supports and fenders and stuff like that because then it just makes it more difficult to get inside there so uh that's it hope you guys are enjoying the build so far i'll see you guys in the next episode peace